It is indeed a very happy day, a happy moment for us all in this kingdom. And that is why we are here to celebrate with these families represented here today. And we are also here to show gratitude to our ancestors. We all know that um, for a long while now, there have been no heir to the throne in this kingdom. But now, the gods have smiled down at us, and we have been blessed with these fruits of the womb. And according to our tradition, we are here to dedicate these children to God. I am so happy. And if I consider how happy I am today, I might not stop talking. So, I will now hand over to the priestess. Thank you, Your Highness. And now that you have done it the way it's supposed to be done, we shall proceed to marry and be joyful. There's plenty to drink, plenty to eat. So let there be music and merriment. Does this talk at all? <laughs> His speech is not needed here on earth. So I made him dumb. 
Though he's hard working. Mm. I trust you. Because you have never disappointed us before. One more thing. You have to take him far away from this land before you kill him. And make sure you kill him before the weekend. Understood? <laughs> you don't have to doubt me, madam. His soul has already been paid for. And as I talk with you now, I'm taking him alongside with the others for the ritual in Odo. That's good. Now I can relax. <laughs> good. I beg to take my leave. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. I was doing something for my mother, eh? Don't be angry. So, I, you know, I understand. But the problem I'm having here is that I just want to be sure that you're saying the truth. You know, I've come hey. to realize that each time we have an agreement or I promise you something, issues always come up. It's not like, okay, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Please forgive me now, eh? <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm sorry, please. Um, I, actually, I, I, I'm still doing something for my mother, so I said let me just see you quickly. I don't know if you brought the money that I begged you for. So, you want to tell me that you're in a rush? Uh, please. It's not like that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Anyways. Thank you. Good seat. Uh, thank you. Yeah, what? Well, thank you. You know, as for our other discussions, I've yeah. spoken to my uncle. Oh, you talked to him. you know what? He has given me an assurance. Are you serious? Oh, God be with you. God bless you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Richard, Hey, hey, hey. 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 What is this pressing problem that you can't wait? Your Highness, Tom is dead. Who is Tom and what killed Tom? Your Highness, Tom is the son of late Mr. Johnson. I know who Johnson is. But what killed Tom? Tessie, the daughter of late Mr. Austin. Tessie. Will somebody please tell me exactly what is going on? Yes, Your Highness. On our way coming back from the stream, we saw her up turn. And at the end, the boy disappeared. Yes, Your Highness. She disappeared and we couldn't find her. On your way back from the stream? Yes, yes Your Highness. Highness. You saw Tessie hug Tom. And Tom disappeared? Yes, Your Highness. And you couldn't find him anywhere? Yes, Your Highness. What do you have to say about this allegation levied against you? My king, what's allegation? Eh? Liar! You killed Tom! Yes. You just killed him! You killed him by the bush pack along the street! You killed him! Open your mouth and talk to him! Tell him the truth! Tell the truth! The truth. Why are you lying? Tom is dead. Right. Uh -uh. I didn't kill him. Hmm. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill Tom. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I didn't kill him. In fact, Tom was supposed to come to my house to give me things that he was supposed to have bought for my mother. I didn't kill him. Shut up! Witch! Witch! We watched you hard and he disappeared. Witch! Shut up, I didn't kill him. I didn't kill Tom. I didn't kill him. How did I kill him? I didn't kill him. Alright, enough. Witch. Enough. 
enough of that noise, you know. When an issue is like this, it needs caution. Young ladies, you may all take your leave now. I will get back with you. Thank you, Your Highness. Witch. Thank you, Mo. Witch. I know. Witch. Witch. Sorry, King. It's okay, Tessie. You may leave too. I'll send for you when I leave. You may leave Elders in Council, I have never heard nor hear a thing like this. The young woman completely denied it. She denied. Your Highness, this is serious. This is real serious. No evidence, no family to show that it's missing. No. We have to be very careful here so we don't convict the innocent. But for the fact that the youth affirm their presence, it's enough to convince us. Your Highness, I have to press her harder. Maybe she may confess. Your Highness, I agree with you. Elders in council, as it is now, let us keep our fingers crossed. Let us hope we find our son. Let us become gentlemen. What do we do? Right now, I am as confused as you are. What about her that cannot be destroyed? Or maybe we have not tried harder. Or what do you think? Let's confirm from the great woman, the mother of all flesh. She might be able to help us. I think that's the best idea. What is wrong? My daughter. Hmm. I wonder why you still keep her around. She's my only child alive. After donating five of them. Great Duda! Great one, mother of all flesh, your daughters are here. We need your help. We are helpless without you. Great one, great one, great do that. What is it that you get from me, you mortal? Great one. We yielded to your warning concerning those two spirited demons. The male is out of the way. But the lady happens to be tougher than we thought. Those two represent my past and my future. They are the symbol of the true present. What they represent, huh? No one can destroy. We must never allow them to discover their true nature by meeting with possibility. Or else! The three of them are unstoppable. Try. Like I said before, the male is all the way. He is right now in the wilderness and should be dead by now. As far as possibility, what do you do? Think very deeply. Look within you. In your darkest spot, you will find answer. But first, I must warn you, the three of them must never come together. They are a greater force ever imagined. The two that are already born, and the very one that either of you will bear will be worse than the first two. So be very careful with who you help. Because the very person that you love will bring you to your tiny end. Wait. Ah. Stop if somebody wants to eat, wants to eat. Bring your plate up. 
bring your plate to. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Indeed, a very bad sign. Drop it! No! Drop 
it go. Drop it. My friend, are you mad? Drop no. it. Drop it. But I don't drop it. How shit? I'm blowing it. Okay. Sacrificial meal for the spirited human. What? We are finished. We are finished. The war is over. What do we do now? I guess we have to call the great one again. This is trouble. She can't just win like that. Great one. Mother of all flesh. Please come to our rescue. Great one! Great one! Bones out! I didn't want you to be aware of the one drawn back without me. Now you have given life to the test created motor. Tell me, what is the one in order? The second place where anyone held Katy will never be set free. Any mortal fed from the meal gotten from the faces of the good mother. Oh, no. Yes, that is the possibility for her. She has eaten from the great mother. Oh, no. Now you have succeeded in making her the greatest spirited mortal that ever lived among the spirits and the water. Great one. I know you can help us. What do we do? The only possible solution is to find the male friend who represents wisdom. As he speak, he might have realized himself as soon as the male was eaten, since he was also trapped in the same way. Find him and when you do, do everything possible to stone him to death. But remember, do not instigate the act. Let his own mortals charge him. Because if you do, we're going to open a rift between the spirited world and his kind. Any earth that touches the ground from his body is going to cause a lot of damage to the skin. Hmm. As a possibility, she has turned into a chameleon. She's going to be under your care. Take care of her. And you know where she goes. So how do we get this mad girl? <laughs> I have to send the youths to look for her. She has to be seen by us first before some other person sees her. In that case, we just have to go now. Yes.
Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Oh. What is the meaning of this? So what was the conclusion at the palace? Just told me that I should go for now that I'll get to hear from them soon. How come everybody believes to kill him? Even some of the youths say they caught you at the process. That's what baffles me the most. How? And how did I do it? You know what even hurts me? What pays me so much is the fact that he, the last time we talked, he said he was going to bring some money from my mother's treatment. That was the last thing. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. I know how you feel. Even if nobody believes you, I do. Because God knows the truth. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know why this thing happened to me. I don't know why. I don't know it's, why. It will soon be 18 of us. Oh, why did he die? It's so painful. I, I understand. Oh, God. It's okay. I hope all is well. You seem disturbed. Hope the girls are not angry. Mm. Your Highness. Tragedy like has never been witnessed before. It's about to visit this kingdom. Mm. We must be prepared. Otherwise, 
what we once cherished will become a nightmare. And what may we do to avoid this tragedy? Fosky, there shall be no mercy for anyone accused by eyewitness. Hmm. Secondly, any member of this kingdom that has been away for so long and he or she finds his or her way back to this kingdom shall be stoned to death. Finally, depending on the urgency from order, we shall set some days aside for coffee. During those days, we will offer some sacrifices. And no stranger is allowed anywhere around this kingdom. Mm. Your Highness, I beg to take my leave. Go well. May the gods go with you. Husband, why is your face like this? The priestess of Odo just left my palace. She warned me of a looming tragedy. A tragedy so big it's never been experienced in this kingdom, even during the days of my ancestors. The prophecy says I may lose my throne. So, what did she suggest we do? Stiff measures. Stiff measures were prescribed. We no longer judge with mercy in this kingdom. No strangers are allowed near the kingdom. And any prodigal sons and daughters that come back home must be stoned to death. I am worried. Mom, when is my brother coming back? The last time he called, he said he'll be coming back after his graduation. That didn't seem now. Moreover, I have missed him. This is happening again. How come they always escape? What do we do? Oh, how did they do that? You know, our chances become slimmer as the day goes by. We have to act fast. Yes, we have to. <laughs> <laughs> 